Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by my corner of the internet. Today we're going to talk about the second iteration of the squared eel. Somebody over in England posted that he made a banjo out of a two liter soft drink bottle on a wooden frame. And uh, his was a octagonal shape, he had about six and a half inches across. And I figured if I used the squared eel design of a rectangular head, I could make a much larger, louder banjo. More head, more air gets pumped every time you twang a string. And somebody else posted that when he makes banjos out of whatever's laying around, he goes down to the auto parts store the day after a rainstorm. They've got a bucket of thrown away wiper blades, and they'll give you as many as you want. You just clip them to the right length, crazy glue them in place. I've got the cheapest possible ping tuning pegs. If you buy individual, five individual pegs, you don't have to worry about getting all the holes perfectly lined up. I used a 632 machine screw for the top nut and uh, brass plated pins for string guides so I don't have to hand saw a top nut. The bridge was just a, a couple pieces of scrap lumber uh, glued together. The body, the dowel stick goes through a notch in the bottom of the body. and There's a little block here to make it come out right so that the top of the fingerboard is even with the top of the banjo. And basically, it sounds pretty darn good. I call it the squared eel because it's rectangular in shape and because it's a pun on getting a good bargain. You get a square deal when you get a squared eel. And uh, tell the customers, you've got a little red mark here, a little red mark there. If you make your own, you can take a magic mark and write a big 5 and a big 7, big 12. You could just number the frets. Uh, and then you know where to put your fingers if you're going to play with just a thumb and a finger like... I love her, she loves him, Barry ate my Uncle Jim. He's kind of a dinosaur, evil, mean, and dark. Barney Rue, Jurassic Park. It is that easy. And because I use a, a stock 1x2 maple and just glue a little extra on for the fifth string shoulder, the, the neck's not tapered. You just cut all the frets to the same length. And one easy way to do that is make yourself a little block with a little stop so that you slide the fret material in and cut it at the same place, kind of like a little miter saw box. Um, and they all come out the same length. The, uh, the top, as I said, is a soft drink bottle. This particular one was um, probably 7-up because it's green plastic. And uh, if you're looking for something that you can tell people, well, I went as green as possible. What could be greener than a green recycled plastic banjo head? Thank you and good day. Pay scant attention to that little man in front of the curtain. <laughs>